Otitis externa. Acute otitis externa. Nickname is swimmers, years, they can infect children, teenagers, and adults. It is painful infection of outer ear, and it usually happens after swimming or living in dirty, humid area. The signs and symptoms of ear canal inflammations are that it can suddenly occur within 48 hours with past two weeks, and the signs are tenderness of the ear pinna and ear tragus, diffuse ear canal edema, cellulitis of near skin of the ear pinna. The symptoms are often accompanied with severe ear pain, ear fullness, and itching. Sometimes jaw pain and hearing loss also can happen. What is the cause? So it is swimming in the dirty pool, water contamination in spa and perspiration. Pseudomonas and Streptococcus aureus are the main pathogens. The symptoms are good, uh, they are generally good tympanic membrane mobility, whereas otitis media has impaired mobility middle ear effusion. As we can check here, Pseudomonas is the number one, and Staphylococcus aureus is the second one. Sometimes there are wrong drugs that is often used to treat otitis externa. For example, cephalexin should not be used, but it is often dispensed a lot. However, we have to keep in mind that it does not cover Judomonas aeruginosa, which is number one pathogen in otitis externa. So use pain reliever if pain is severe. For top, um, so first of all, uh, use dry aura toilet. It is useful to remove ear discharge or other debris. It can be done by a doctor, carer, or patient. Just mop the ear with cotton swab every six hours until the external canal is dry. Secondly, use the topical drug after dry oral toilet. So, we use ear drops that contain both corticosteroid and antimicrobial. So, after ear drops are installed, apply gentle pressure for 30 seconds. So, first line is dexamethasone plus framicidin plus gramicidin, three drops. Also, other first line is flumethasone plus cleoquinol, three drops. So, when using ear drops, shake well before use. Squeeze two or three drops into each ear canal three times daily. Doctors do not recommend popping the ears or using amoxicillin. And humidity is the risk factor. Steroid reduces inflammation that reduces pain and discomfort. And framicidin is related with neomycin and covers gram minus bacteria and some gram positive bacteria as well. After using ear drops, if there are systemic features such as fever, spread of inflammation to pina area, or folliculitis, please change it to oral antibiotics. So from sofradex to oral antibiotics if there are systemic features. I would like to introduce one more drug. This is called Kenacom Otic. It contains steroid, antibiotic, and antifungals. Uh, the antibiotics covers gram minus, and a fungal otitis externa should be suspected if a patient fails to respond to initial topical therapy. For example, if patients do not respond to siloxan eardrop recently, then we can change the antifungal, which is canacom optic. So if there is ringing in the ear, or hearing difficulties, or balancing difficulty, or shortness of breath, wheezing, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, other parts of body, rash, itching hives on the skin, then stop using canacom optic and tell doctor immediately. For the non pharma council, keep the external ear canal as dry as possible to prevent the recurrent otitis externa. For example, using ear plug or shower cap when showering is a good idea. Also, after being exposed, shake water out of the ear before instilling the drops. Instill acetic acid plus isopropyl alcohol ear drops 5 drops into each ear. Ear drop counseling for otitis externa. If possible, Get someone to put ear drops for you. Lie down with defected ear looking upward. Instill enough to fill it up, that is 3 drops. Stay in position for 5 minutes. Gentle movement can help the drops to go into the final destination. If it does not work, pressing out movement can help. After 5 minutes, wipe out the excess ear drops. Keep your ear dry.
Do not clean inside the ear yourself. If needed, ask clinician. If ear gibberish naturally fur out, that is a good sign.